Look at verse 15. Verses 15 and 16. We'll read those together. And as he reclined at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. And the scribes of the Pharisees, when they saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Sitting down and sharing a table with what the Pharisees would call sinners and tax collectors was prohibited for rabbis. The word sinners in this context is being used in the way the Pharisees would use it, meaning anyone who did not follow their legal traditions of purity, both moral and ritual, we're considered outcasts. We're considered sinners. You're not keeping the rules we've developed. So therefore, you're a sinner. On the other hand, these people that the self-righteous Pharisees were calling sinners and the reprobate and beyond reconciliation, Jesus sits down and has a meal with them. Again, in, in verse 16, we see the scribes of the Pharisees, when they saw that he was sitting down with these sinners and with these tax collectors, said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And I just want to pause there and scream, because that's all there is. That's all there is. There's sinners in this world. What are the things that atheists love? Well, you know, the Bible was written by man. They're sinful. That's all God had to use. But He used men that He redeemed by the blood of Christ to do it. That's all there is in this world are sinners. Only God is perfect. We rely on His grace every day. This reminds me of a conversation I had yesterday with a brother. We're talking about how some people say they don't come to church because of the hypocrites. I mean, that's like saying I'm not going to Chicken Express because they have chicken. Like, yes, we are hypocrites and we always have room for more. I'll save you a seat. You can sit next to my hypocritical family. You can even sit next to, to the music minister's hypocritical family. Or the preacher's hypocrite. We're all hypocrites, in a sense. The reason we gather on the Lord's Day is because we know this. We know we're wretched sinners, and we know that God has given us grace. That's therefore we gather as a big old body of hypocritical sinners, and we sing praises to the God that has forgiven us, and the, and the God that loves us. That's why we gather. 